Hi, this is Nick from bottle-lamp.com and today I would like to introduce the WEN 8-inch drill press. Um, I used to have a drill press a while back but we kind of parted ways with it when we moved down south and um, it was time to get another one. I've got some projects that are kind of looming in the back of my head and uh, it would be fun to get going again. So we did a lot of research before we bought this. Uh, we wanted something that wasn't going to take up a lot of space and yet uh, would still serve the purpose of what we wanted to do. So um, I ordered this one on Amazon.com. It took about five days to get here. And um, yeah, I can't tell you anymore until we open it. So uh, let's crack her open. I suppose there will be a little bit of uh, putting together, but it should be pretty straightforward. Here's the operator's manual. The guide plate that you'll set everything on. Now real cast iron. Our base plate. Very nicely packaged. Nothing got damaged, although this stuff's pretty heavy duty. It'd be pretty hard to do that. And here we go. All right, five speed. Very nice. Well, I'm not gonna take any more of this out of the box because this isn't where we're gonna set it up, but uh, as you can see, it's all very nicely secure and everything. All in good shape. Uh, we'll get it set up and uh, we'll give it a spin. All right, I've taken everything out of the box and uh, they only ask for a screwdriver, a hammer, and a wrench. So, minimal tools. This should be pretty straightforward to put together. The first thing you're going to want to do is take your base plate out. Alright, the column is secure, and now we're ready to put on our table where our parts will sit. Uh, it's just a matter of tightening and loosening this up. This all swivels, so that'll be nice. That might come in handy. I'm just going to slide it over the top here. You can align it with the front. Just simply tighten this down in the back here. All right, pretty snug. Okay, now that we've got our table on, we're ready to go with the main component. We're simply going to slide it into here and tighten it down with these two Allen wrench screws on the side. resting all the way on now. I've got it positioned to where it's all in line here. You can make some fine tuning later. And now that I have it where I want it, I'm just going to simply tighten it down with these two Allen wrenches. The Allen wrench comes with it, so no muss, no fuss there. Okay, now that that's tightened, I'm ready to put on my spindle handles. This will be the device that you'll use to lower your drill chuck down. You simply screw right into the end on the end here. Just as simple as that. If uh, you ever have a big piece, you can remove these so you can get around it. So you'll be able to, when you're rotating, not hit the item that you're going to be drilling. Okay, cut that one 
started. You just hand tighten these. Don't go crazy with them, because uh, you don't want to. You want to be able to have that option to adjust them. Okay. Next, we're going to put the knob here to lift the cover off, and under here is where you'll be able to adjust your speeds. Um, for what I'm going to do, I'm probably just going to leave it right where it's at. Um, if I need more torque, I can make those adjustments later, but I really don't see that happening for what I'm going to do. Although it is nice to have that as an option. Uh, this is pretty simple too. Just a Phillips screwdriver will take the screw out. Line it up. And you'll be able to have easy access to this cover. Once that's in, it's all set up that way. Okay, now we're ready to put on our chuck and uh, we're going to clean up the spindle here. This is where we're going to slide it on. Just take a cloth and clean that up good so there's no extra dirt or anything on it. And what you want to do here, you can see the teeth. I don't know if you can see that or not. The teeth are right there. Before you put this on, you want to recess these inside. So I'm going to bring them back in as far as they will go. And you'll be able to tell. You'll hit the bottom point, and you won't be able to turn it anymore. There. That's as far as that will go. Um, once again, you want to make sure that this is clean, the shaft that you're going to slide it on. And you're going to want to align it and then they instruct to put a piece of wood underneath it to keep it level and we're going to tap it. So you'll want to lower your table for this next step. Again, that's just the handle in the back here. The handle in the back to loosen it. Bring it down so you got some more room. I'm going to put, I've recessed my teeth. I've lined it up on the shaft. I'm going to put my and just strike the bottom. You're literally putting it onto that piece right there. You want the board to use so you get a nice level strike. All right, perfect. You uh, can put in your chucks now and that's all ready to go. All right, we're basically put together now. Um, I'm going to plug it in and give it a test run here. Um, I've worked in machine shops before and uh, worked with drill presses. I'm sure the guys at the shop would laugh if they saw this thing sitting on my table now, but... Uh, in an office. In an office, <laughs> nonetheless, yes. Um, but nevertheless, uh, for anyone who wants to do some light, or in our case, hobby, type crafts. This is the perfect size. It's powerful enough to get the job done and it's all we really need. Um, I'm going to be using for my bottles these tips here and uh, your chuck key which comes with it. You just line up your, you bring your chucks down again Tighten that on. And make the final adjustments with it. That's all you really need. This thing would be good to go then. Nice, quiet oh, yeah. operation. You'll bring you can adjust your table up and down. Um, there's more that you can do here with this as far as the angle of the table and how you can make those drills. The angle of your holes that you'll be drilling. Um, I'm going to go so far as to incorporate uh, two sticks which I had on my other drill press that I just duct taped down and it was a nice soft layer for me to set the bottles on so it's not sitting right on here. Um, I have some WD-40 to you can see some of the grease maybe on the table. I'm going to clean it up with that just so uh, it isn't getting all over everything. Uh, all right, 
So it's all cleaned up. It's set up. This thing's ready to go. Um, if you have this in a shop, you can actually bolt this down to your uh, workbench so it isn't sliding all over. We're in an office setting. We've got it set up in our house, so we're not going to do that. Um, again, this is just going to be some light use that we're doing it with, so this will really work out well for us. Um, in our next video, we'll actually demonstrate drilling a bottle, but uh, for the most part, I'm happy with what we got here. It's sturdy. It's uh, perfect for what we want to do. This is Nick from Bottle-Lamp.com, and if you would like to share your experiences with us, we will also be doing a review of the win on our Bottle-Lamp.com website. Uh, be sure to leave us a comment. Thank you.